Shalom. And we GMS Nola. You know, we're going to come at you with a sit down here, man. You know, before we get started, though, we're going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh. The bonus to the apostles of the Elder Gray Millstone, peace and blessing to the sins of the Yahweh, pushing his truth. Our Lord, Shalom, keep pushing. Shalom. 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 So, yeah, we're going to get into it, man. You know, some of. Uh, you know, we pray that it's going to be edifying, but we're going to get into it. what's going on this month. You know, this is a big month for the, um, you know, for the Alphabet crew, you know, the Transformers, the Decepticons, whatever kind of label you got for them, you know, but this is a big month, you know, and now they're trying to turn into a, a big year, a yearly thing. But we're just going to get into the madness that's going on, especially right here in Babylon, man. You know, they're taking this... Uh, this circus all the way up to the White House now, you know, and Joe Beezing, you know who I'm talking about, he is, uh, he's smiling like a, uh, what do you call it, a Cheshire cat, <laughs> you know, he's smiling from ear to ear to with all the madness that's going on, so it goes to show you, man, this uh, man, he, he saw him he the so-called white man, he loves these type of things, and he's the main one promoting this garbage on the earth, and we're just going to point it out. And, you know, and get into it, and then we're going to get on you Israelites, too, man. You go with that order out. You mind if I get a preset for you real quick? Kind of, you got it. Kind of, because we know that this is a, a perverse man. He's he's wicked and estranged from the womb. He does everything clean contrary to righteousness. And as it says in Daniel chapter 11, verse 37, neither shall he regard the power of his fathers nor the desire of women. This man doesn't desire women, hence why he pushes all these abominations out here. Every type of, uh, you know, sexual preference and, and, and so-called kink out here to do go, go around everything but what? Dealing with women, naturally, how the order was meant to be dealt with, dealing with the woman and reproducing and creating a family and having, having everybody in their set, biblical, traditional, you know, Gen, Gen mm -hmm. D E R roles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's all stemming from Esau Edom, you know, the the man who's in charge right now, the whole planet. And like the brother brought up, he has no desire for men, so like he has desire for men, but not for women, <laughs> you know. And here it is, you know, that's why he put the man against the woman, the woman against the man, you know. But we're gonna get into it with the article, you know. We're gonna get more into this. This dog here in a minute. It says, uh, okay, kind you got it. It says, uh, T R A N S influencer who flashed fake breasts at Biden Pride event banned from White House. And this, this is a, a woman, and this is a man. This is total confusion, total it's madness. Flip -flopped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you think it is is flip flop. Mm hmm Yeah, so here it is. You have a the one with the short hair is a biological woman and the one with the long hair is a biological male. And, you know, and this is what this man does. He creates confusion throughout the earth, man. You know, the scriptures say the most high he's not the author of confusion. But who is though? Esau Edom, the so called white man. And as you see, looking at this, this this messes with a person's mind right here. You know, but you got it on the article though. Right? Kind of says the Gateway Pundit reported on three TG activists who displayed their topless chests at a White House L. Gibbet Pride event hosted by Joe Biden over the weekend. Uh, abomination influencer advocate Rose Montoya posted a video to TikTok on Monday showcasing the disturbing moment of breast bearing just moments after meeting Biden. And that's Rose, a dude. Okay, and here's you, uh, you niggas president, man, that you love so much, you know, uh, what they used to call him, Moneybag Joe, you mm -hmm. know, but uh, Moneybag Joe is keeping company with uh, sodomites, man, you know, so, so where's Jake now, you know, why you ain't uplifting this man like he was, you know, before when he was uh, sending out the dollars now, you know, and, and this is what this man had the whole time, you know, to turn you into a a, a, a flame, you know. You got. Oh, you want to say something, Kaya? Khan. 
Look, mm -hmm. look at look at this, man. Use the little mouse and circle them. Circle them right quick. Because when I say that, I won't be talking directly to these two devils right here, man. That's not letting me show the mouse. It's not letting you do it. But look at the pride and the arrogancy in which they uh, push this thing to the forefront, in which Barack Obama has signed in executive orders. Because he, he's basically your T-R-A-N-S president. All right. He he forward the agenda. A lot of things happened under his regime. OK. All right. As he was inaugurated and he's an African, of course. Right. But it's the agenda that they pushing for it, man. All right. His nationality is not he's not an Israelite. He's an African-American, man. So-called. Well, African. Right. So but it's the pride on this devil. And he just fell the other day too. look at him. I wish you had the mouse to just circle him. He just fell, mm -hmm. man. All right, but it's the pride of these people in which they push it on people, right, and promote it, right? Is this is a uh, this the word? Yeah, yeah, look, yeah, yeah. Look at that, right? Mm -hmm. What's well, the first? What, what the president position is? You know, like the woman is the first. His wife is the first lady. He's supposed to be the. Commander he's supposed chief. to be the folks, huh? Commander in chief. Yeah. So this is your commander in chief right here, man. And his first lady is supposed to be a regular lady, but this look at his first lady right here. He uh, he's smiling more with this this thing right here than he do with his regular wife, man. Okay. You see, he got that Joe Biden smile. Check him out. But <laughs> this is pride, real quick, and you got it. Somebody that won't be long. It says unreasonable self esteem, especially as one of the deadly sins, man. All right. Hardiness, overbearing treatment of others, okay, with the love of, of the overbearing on display. So that's why I wanted the brother to get it close, all right? So the love of Sodom and the diviners of Sodom and Gomorrah, right, it's just all the way out there, man. You see? This is uh, 10, Sirach 10 and 12. It says, the beginning of pride is when one departed from from God and his heart is turned away from his maker. You got it, Samagi. Salaki, like brother. Okay, yeah, and uh, that's one of the precepts I had, too, you know? Oh, I <laughs> Yeah, Salaki. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all good, though. But yeah, and when a man started, you know, getting filled up with pride, that's when he departed from his maker, you know? And primarily, uh, you so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans, man. You know, Esau, Edom, he's in his natural habitat, man, being a, a you know, a, a mole lover, you know? You know, so look at him. He, he's all smiles. He's he glowing. You know, he's like a hog and slop right now, you know? But you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, when you start to depart from your maker, you know, that's when pride sets in. And like your brother say, uh, what was that you brought up about the uh, about the sin of pride? What number was it? Was it the number one? You said on. Uh, oh, the uh, you talking about the the definition? Come on, come on. Uh huh. It yeah, says the love of display. Oh, it says unreasonable self esteem. Oh, especially as one of the deadliest sins. Come on. and yeah, it says one of the deadliest ones. And our people partake full hardly in that, man. You know, we see him out there too. Believe me, Jake is out here involved in this crap too, man. You know, we saw him out this past Saturday, you know, in their hot pants, you know, in their sus suspenders on with, you know, no drawers on, just having a good time, man. You know, and so Jake, you know, he's all with this man's agenda. You know, that's why I, the scriptures point out saying, you are your father's devil, man. For the less. Cause he he lusted, man. He, he lusting after the little boys, you know, men flesh. This is what Esau Edom, you know, does, man. He's in his uh, natural habitat right now. If I can get that uh, that Second Thessalonians, and we're gonna keep it pushing. We're just gonna keep bringing it out, you know. So like, yeah, we're gonna keep bringing it out and point it out, you know, who's in charge, who's pushing this. And like I said, we're going to get into it on you uh, you knucklehead Israelites, man. We're going to let you know you ain't off the hook either. You know, he has not given you uh, permission to sin, roughly paraphrasing. 
you know, so you can't just do what you want to do because Esau Edom makes a law. No, you're still bound by these laws, statutes, and commandments and these ordinances, Jake. So don't forget that. You got right. If I could say too, I was looking at the last name of that that uh that thing Biden was with. And the last name was Montoya. That sounded like a Northern Kingdom last name. That could have very well been one of the tribes. And a lot of you, a lot of you Northern Kingdoms out there, and and you Southern Kingdom too, are, are weenie boys out there. So, mm-hmm. as the brother was saying, hey, y'all aren't exempt from the laws, statutes, and commandments. And as we saw this past weekend, Jake was. As, as our elder always says, when, when Jake gets into something, they they master it and it and exceed exceed in it. And we can clearly see that with our people out here. When we see our people involved in these activities, they they do too much with it. They they look like they were the originators of it. That's how deep Jake gets entrenched in these things. Mm-hmm. But this is a uh, Second Thessalonians chapter two verse three. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Okay, yeah, and, and say for that day, it shall not come. It's talking about the day of the Lord, man. You know, he, he's coming back to put an end to all this BS. You know, we can't count on Jesus to come through and handle it. You know, if anything, Jesus to come back, he's going to encourage it, you know. He's going he's gonna to gather all the, you know, the transformers, you know, and, and create a 144 trans army, you know? But we waiting on your house. You had to come back to put a mat. Stop all this madness, man. You know, and it says that the son of man be revealed, and he's being revealed in this time, man. And we see who he is in the flesh, you know? As you see him, because uh, Esau, Edom, he, he's setting the laws in the earth. You know, it's a... Uh, is a Pedro doing it? You know, is a Blackfoot doing it? You know, what about Jamal? Nah, it's Esau Edom, man. He sets the tone in the earth. You know, he sets the laws. You know, he amends the laws. You know, he breaks the laws. You know, and all that. He's the ones in control, man. So we point out who the man of sin is. And, you know, and when you're the man of sin, that means you want to push your, you know, ideology you know, your wine and your philosophies on everybody else, you know? And that's what he's doing with this uh, demon month, you know? He, hey, hey he pushing P. Salaki, brother. He pushing P, literally. And it, you know what the P for? I, I just read it in the online etymology, man. He literally mm-hmm. pushing P, man. Now, nah, Jay got the less I mean, you pushing P. But that's what he's doing. You got it, bro. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah, just going to say... Oh, Oh, you got it, bro. Like, I was gonna it. say, yeah. Further down, da- further down, it talk about uh, you know, Yahweh Shai coming, but uh, that's mm-hmm. probably what you meant. But where it said, but that day shall not come right there. That's talking about mm-hmm. us falling away from our heritage. In in that verse three. Oh, let me see. Okay. Yeah, further down, it, it talk about you know the day that the day. Lord come, kind of kind. But right there, it's talking about us falling away from our heritage. But shit, that. Hey, we can clearly see that's the case. Our our people, yeah. especially in that in that alphabet, in that alphabet group, they've fallen way far away from their heritage. They at the complete opposite of what it means to be an Israelite. Okay, okay. Can we go to verse four? Okay, okay. <clears throat> Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the most high. Or that is worship, so that he is the most high, sitteth in the temple of the most high, showing himself that he is the most high. Good, yeah, and that's what he does. He opposes and exalted himself, man, above all. By how you doing that, man, with his philosophies and with his laws. You know, he's pushing it out there that, you know, you know, forget the law, statute, and commandment. It's about him, you know? Follow his laws, his his statute commandments. You know they they the way of life, which in reality is a, you know a death style, not life, man. You know this is what this man pushes. He pushes death upon the people. You know, and that's what he does. Yeah, two men together can't create a life. Two women can't either. Is that the idea that that's an alternative lifestyle that doesn't produce life? That's mm-hmm. that doesn't even make grammatical sense. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so he sits in the How did these like Transformers he... get here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's no Transformer that has Transformer parents. Everybody's parents is a man and a woman. Everybody. Yeah. Kind of, yeah, and that's what he does, man. He sets the laws. He sets the tone in the earth. You know, who else? Who else could it be but E, man? You know, let me get that Isaiah uh, 10 and 1. I got a quick one to back what you just said. Let me get that mm-hmm. Isaiah. This uh this Sirach chapter 10, verse 2. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. Yo, can you read that over? I feel like you. Come on, come on. This Sirach chapter 10, verse 2. As the mm-hmm. judge of the people is himself, so are his mm-hmm. officers. And what manner of the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. Yeah, because look who's in charge, man. He, you know, he, hey, so is the judge, so is the officers. Look, everybody you look around is a sodomite, man. You know, it's a it's a big, heavy spirit in there. Every, like you said, when Obama came in, you know, that just pushed it to the forefront. You know, so as he saw he is, everybody else going to be, you know, he want to make everybody just like him. How you going to be comfortable is everybody straight and you ain't straight, man? You know, so he needs to push that agenda on other people. And then he has to have a book that's out called the uh, the Mo Agenda, you know? And, and like you're saying, what is that man who says uh, if he was the devil, he would do this, he would do that? You know, he would... Uh, Paul Harvey. Paul Harvey. Yeah, that's his name. You know, and and true enough, he told on himself. That's who he is, man. You know, and he's doing it. You know, whether he's putting stuff in the water, you know, the uh, the hormones, you know, he's changing the hormones, putting chemicals in it. Forget turning the, the frog gay, you know, a G. He wants to turn you, man. That's just an experiment, you know, and that's what he's done. And as you see, because it's been a it's been a sheer explosion. It's like they came out of nowhere, man. And like I said, it's like on every corner, there's somebody out here, man. You know, that's uh, in that type of death style. You know, it's, it's no longer a lifestyle. You know, it's straight death. You know? And, and he uh, and he loves it. He loves it to the T, man. But if I can yeah. say... Oh, okay. Yeah, but oh. that's, that's who he is. You know, the people are, are just like, they want to be just like E now, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got it. I was just going to say, hey, yeah, Salaki, Salaki, for what I said earlier, you you were right, Samaki, on that, that day shall not come first. I, I got it. I got tongue twisted when I was reading it. I was reading the next part, the except there be a falling away first, but you, you, you were right on the first part. I, I got, I got tongue twisted on it. Oh, so like it's all good, bro. Okay, okay. You know, I, I thought that you know, I, it's all good. It's yeah, cool. I was, just, 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 just read, bring it out, out, and then explain it the right way. I like it. Y'all better okay, just bring it back out and explain it because it, it, it's kind, it's kind of confusing, bro. Kind, kind. This is a, the Second Thessalonians two verse three again. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. And again, that's you know, oh, it's like. Okay, yeah, that's the talking about the day of the Lord, man. You know, and he's like I said, bro, really, he's coming back, whether you believe it or not. You know, you can believe whatever you want to believe, Jake. You know, it's in the scriptures, black and white, man. What the deal is going to be, and he's he's coming, man. The day of the Lord is at hand, and you, you got to rest up. Kind. This is where I got you know tongue twisted. Except they're coming falling away first. So. Hey, that day of the Lord is going to come after what? The falling away from us being a nation and that man of sin, the son of the son of perdition being revealed, who were our nation fell away. And what? The man of sin, the son of perdition, who tries to exalt himself above the most high has been revealed to be Esau, Edom, the wicked and, and the devil and Satan that the Bible speaks of, who does everything clean contrary to the ways of righteousness, to the ways of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So, Right. A fulfillment of that as well. Like you said, he do things clean contrary, which is a wisdom of Solomon too. You know? Mm-hmm. It's, it's a, there's a difference. And, and guess what? He turned the, the good things to evil of use. And like the brother said, he doing that to people, man. All right? Because a person supposed to be a, 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 a 
or uh, uh, origin, or uh, man is a man, a woman is a woman, but he's changing the use of things, right? As it says in that Roman, as I have with you too, man. All right, this man want to cause he have the imagination, all right, or the inventions in his heart to change everything from his natural use. All right, it's not just it's not just the people. He, I mean, it's not just animals. Up, this man have a a diabolic mindset. It's not just animals. He want to change the food, all right, mm -hmm. from its natural use, from a the original way to gym. You got it, I'm what? No, I got that in Syrac if you wanted it. Come on, uh, come on, you got it. Come and then Samaki got it. Samaki got it. I just wanted to add on to what Rahayu was saying. This double going to mm -hmm. take it to another level. But you got it, Samaki. It's a lot of it, bro. Come on, it's uh, Syrac 39 and 25. It says, for the good or good things created from the beginning, so evil things for sinners. The principal <laughs> things for the whole use of man's life are water, fire, iron, and salt, flour of wheat, bread, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape, and oil, and clothing. All these things are for good to the godly, so to the sinners they are turned into evil. Mm. <laughs> and that's, that's what exactly Nigga contaminated out. everything. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he like I said, he put his his evil his plans on everything. He touched everything, the minds, the, the food, the clothing, everything. Know, everything. Everything has to go away here in Babylon, man. You know, he <laughs> destroyed everything. Nothing is sacred, like they like to say, you know. <laughs> when when Esau him as, as touchdown, man, he done his thing as this American devil, man. You know? And he and he's gone uh gone wild, man. You know, putting it lightly. You know, and it's just not enough that he, he does it here in America. He, he has to push it all over the world. Democracy. You know? Yeah, okay. He he has to do it all over, man. You got to get down with him, you know, and, and that's it. You know, if you don't like it, he's gonna uh, make laws <laughs> to where he's gonna outlaw where you can't choose what you wanna be, man. You know, he can say, well, you know what? I don't like being this. Well, guess what? We be here any longer. He's going he gonna to change all that. You, you want, a man going to have to be with a man, you know? A woman going to have to be with a woman. And that's what he has in mind. You know, but, you know, all praise to you. This man going to go down here soon, man. Hey, you gotta call him. We, identi we identify ourselves. He even changed the use of that. Like, we can't, mm -hmm. we got to. You know, he want Jake to identify as neutral. I don't know yet. Oh, uh, you know, it's just, it's like, what, yeah, it's man. like, what are we doing? And he puts the peer pressure on you, right? Of, oh, all these people are stepping it, right? That's why it's a governing self-esteem thing. All these people are stepping it, but you not. And guess what? That make you look like the outcast, man. All right? You're going against the regular way of things. That's why Paul Harvey said, and it surely came to pass that he's going to make swinging more fun than, than marriage. Just regular man or what? Swinging is, you're going to make marriage boring and make swinging fun. Go ahead, brother. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah, and that's what he said, man. That's that's what the devil does, man. Ain't the bad. Yeah, he perverts everything, man. Mm. You know? Uh, can I get it that Isaiah 10 and 1? Mm. You got it? Mind if I make a point to back up you know, back up uh, what y'all both just said. Go ahead. You got it. Hey, the brother, the brother uh, Ayash in the Mississippi camp I'll always bring it up. It's like once you're able to pervert and, and pervert sexuality, natural like sexuality between a man and a woman, once you get people to accept that, they willing to accept and do anything. Yeah. Mm hmm. Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Okay, yeah, so destruction to the people who write unrighteous decrees. And like I brought out earlier, man, Esau, Edom, he's the one writing these unrighteous decrees. You know, men can marry men, women can marry women. You know, you can marry a dog, a cat, a horse, you know. And that's what he's doing, you know. You know, he's ruling and he's taking full advantage of it right now, you know. And he, he looks at you some type of way. If you you bring it up and say, you know what, I don't agree with that, 
You know, I don't believe in that. You know, he feels some type of way about it. You know, he he said you're not a you're not civilized, you're not advancing <laughs> if you don't believe in you know pedophilia or you in the bestiality, man. You know, you, uh, you a caveman, let him say it. You know, you living in the old days. You know, when it's all just straight out wickedness, man. You know, he he's a he's a man of uh, deep lust, man. You know, uh, you know what's the word I'm looking for? He's all about uh, fulfilling his own lust. You know, and and desires, man. He's a, a beast of the beast of the field, man. You know, void of uh, law, statute, and commandments, man. And, and this was just what you get when you got somebody like E that's profane outside the temple, man. This is the outcome you get. Just walk out your front door, look down the street, and you just see all the degenerates just walking around, man. You know, men seven feet tall and in heels, you know, with uh off the tops on. You know, that's what happens when a, you know, uh, with a man like E in charge, bro. You know, it, it's just sickening to look at. You know, and I got you. Get that Romans, okay, can I, we get yours and, and then we get that Romans. Romans. Come, 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 come. I got. I'm a whole, I'm holding the Romans. I'm gonna go to Romans too. But now, nah, man, you could see the paradigm shift in which this man put in the minds of the people on the earth how he defiled it, man. All right. Mm -hmm. He have turned the bitter things for sweet, man, and the sweet things for bitter. Right. He have changed the or the original way. Right. For a way that's that's not conducive to production. It's not productive. It's counterproductive. All right. But the thing is, with our people, our people are so dumbed down, man, to well, they can't even see the, the total like they, the way that our people interact on a on an intelligence level, it's just, they just completely bitten, man. All right? They, mm -hmm. It's like, you'll be like, you're accepting that, and then you'll really get into why they're accepting it, and they can't even really give you a real answer. they like, that. this is, you know, this is the way it is now. You know, we just living in different times. What do, what do that mean, right? Times change, days and weeks, but a man is still a man the next day. I, that's... Okay. I mean, that's the God-given way, man. That's why they call this place a God-forsaken place, man. All right? A woman is still a woman tomorrow, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. There's no... But they put it as if it's an identity crisis going on, right? They play on the minds of the people. But this is Deuteronomy 32 and 31. It says, for their rock is not as our rock, even our enemies themselves being judges. For their vine is the vine of Sodom and the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gall. Their clusters are bitter. Their wine is the poison of dragons and the cruel venom of apps. You gonna get it? Kind of, you'll say, hey, they rock is not our rock, man. You know, they, <laughs> uh, when, when they get down to it, they uh, they worship a Baphomet, an androgynous you know, a man and a woman, pretty much. You know, or uh, what is it? Or it has no part. It it blurs the line between man and woman. I forget exactly what the bottom it is. Yeah, it's both genders. Go ahead, like a woman. It's both, both genders. genders. Hey, okay. good point. Even a gods, even a gods are by, you know, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, it's like, bro. I would. We know our Lord is man. Like we clearly know. And there's no, there's no jingle between that. Like, it's no, it's yeah. like, nah, our Lord, even the woman that was created by the man, an uh, Israelite, knows that our God is a woman, but they are led to say, mm -hmm. God is a woman. Oh, who invented that? Who put that thought in their mind like that, man? All right, to even go, well, who God Gromo is? It's like, mm -hmm. this man is the, his, I'm going to read that last verse again. It says, their wine, a gen, mm. a, a, a gener, sensitive yeah, okay. translation of the Hebrew Bible. Oh, come on, bro. Hey, look what we got to say. You know, look how we got to say it. This is, anyways, it says their wine, you can put that back up. Right? Their wine is the poisons, poison of dragons 
and the cruel venom of apps. You got it out. Good. And they just go back to that poison, man. You know, that philosophy, that wine, and the biggest wine on the planet that's being pushed over right now is the, the Sodom that the brother brought in that, in that precept, man. You know, they vine in Sodom. You know, so guess what? They wine that they pushing right now is Sodom too. You know, they all about getting you to a bend and transform it into their way of thought, you know? And like I'm saying, with this uh, with this uh, Pride Month, man, you know, it's all about just casting demons on you out here, you know, putting that uh, that nasty, unkind spirit on you, in your mind, you know, you can uh, let a hatch in your brain, you know, open you up to other unclean spirits, man, and that's what this man is doing. He's doing all kind of witchcraft and being the uh, the biggest sodomite on the planet, planet, so like that. You know, he, he's pushing it to the max, man. He Like I said, he know he had but a short time, so he's going to do it all, man. You know, if we was to be here any longer, like the brother brought up before, it'd be like back in Greek days, man. He'd just be walking around here with little boys, you know, as his wife. You know, he'd have little toddlers in his lap, you know, butt naked, just sitting at the bus stop, man. <laughs> you know, but 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 we wrong, though, for, for pointing this out. And then all you, especially you dirtbag two-thirds, man. Y'all fucking try to get on us about calling out your Papa Esau. You know, what he doing ain't right. We don't care what kind of hard looks you bring up to the camp. You know, how much you uh, fuss and cuss and spit. We don't care, man. We're going we gonna to point out who it is and, and who is uh, spreading this BS all over the planet right now. What the hell with you niggas? Got a precept for you. Got it out. Just want to say real quick, you could tell who someone worships by who they get offended when you talk about, you know, when you mm -hmm. talk about the, the nigger woman, Jake, Jake get offensive, Jake, Jake get sensitive and touchy. When you talk about Esau, Jake get all mm -hmm. offended and touchy. But then when it comes to people blaspheming in the name of the Lord, putting the commandments aside, Jake, Jake is not hot about that at all, man. Jake is not offended. Mm -hmm. Jake, Jake ain't making videos. Like, look at these guys, they they destroying the name of the Lord. They don't care about the name of the Lord. But when you talk about E, and Eve, mm -hmm. Jake losing, man. That's what we worship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, where all these uh, these Negroes on these TikTok videos and, you know, YouTube shorts, they ain't posting no clips about uh, the alphabet boys out here in, in hot pants and hot shorts, you know, just twerking out there in the middle of the street. Nothing. But they quick to take a clip of us, though, you know, mm -hmm. and try to slander us. You know, because you, when it boils down to it, you niggas hate righteousness, man. You know? And uh, you're going to get yours here real soon, Jake. You know? Uh, I believe somebody, uh, Ryan, you had a precept. Okay. Hey, you got and it. the reason they get hot when, when we talk about it and don't do responses, because they, sw they switch hitters themselves. They still mm -hmm. hiding, hiding and creeping out at night to go, to go yeah. deal with some peanut butter. But... Yeah. But this is Nahum chapter 3. I'm going to read verse 4. Because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot. And we know as pursuant to Revelation 17 that mother of harlots is Babylon. But here it's talking about Nineveh. But we know America is also spiritual Assyria and Nineveh as well. The mistress of witchcrafts, which as you were saying earlier, this is, this is all witchcrafts and enchantments out here. It's been making a, the rounds what what that uh that P R I D E month sign means when you put it together. It says demon in the middle, and then when mm -hmm. you take the P R and the T H and put that together, prith, it literally means to cast and enchant and bring about demons, conjure up demons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The mistress of witchcrafts that selleth the nations through her whoredoms and the families through her witchcrafts, Disney doing it, Hollywood, social media, a target was doing it before they got backlash. They literally pushing this onto the world stage and especially going hard after the children to get their minds, you know, enchanted by this madness. Okay. I mean, like the brother say, with the witchcraft going on, you know, you know, this has to be it when you can just walk in Target and you got a whole section of, of tuck clothing, you know, 
you got you got P month onesies, you know. Who who sits around in their right mind and say, you know what, this place is gonna go on another fifty, hundred years, man, you know? Yeah. You can you can clearly see this is it, you know? Cause it's nothing safe. Even they even got Bud Light, you know? <laughs> that that wasn't even safe, you know. <laughs> so so this is clearly it. You know, there's no more debate. It's nothing. <laughs> It's beginning to become uncomfortable for the men of the Lord. And when when Lot, when you read about it in, a, in you know, an ancient accounts, when Lot's mm -hmm. soul was vexed within him, what happened? It was a it was a uh it was the rescuing of Lot. Because he said the the that world vexed his soul from day to day. Now think about it. We seeing things ten times greater than what Lot seen, man. We're saying mm -hmm. reverse people and shit like that like we know you know it reached to the skies but when you read about those accounts you don't read about the things they're doing in this time the things that our forefathers saw in this time was like it was like god damn all right okay we what you know we potentially could have been there or not you know we speak as men when we say this but we we like to think there was a little bit more order in lot time which there's no order in Rome but it was a little bit more order and things you know, happening around a lot of time, but now, like the vex, the the vexation or the filthiness of these modern days, is like us men on this phone. Like we don't we don't even care to go. Like we gotta turn our head from matters, and it's like a righteous man don't want to turn his eyes from something. He want to scatter it. He want to pull the will over it. It's not a righteous, and they be like, well. Why y'all upset? Like they're not doing y'all nothing or this or that. What you permit, you promote. We want to scatter the will over the evil. We want to do something about it. All right. And that's the spirit of the Lord. And that's why the Lord let it what? Reach this high like this so he could judge it. Because mm -hmm. the more wicked it get, the stronger the hand of the Lord or the wrath of the Lord going to be. And that's what people don't understand. Go ahead, Amber. Why you got it, brother? Yeah, this, uh, everything you said, Apostle Peter summed it all up. This is uh, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 6. It says, And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an end sample unto those that after should live ungodly. All right, putting the will over them, scattering them. And it says, And delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. That, that word conversation is anastrophe. The behavior of, of these filthy people is vexing to a righteous man. It says, For that righteous <laughs> man... Lewdness. Yeah, the lewdness of mm -hmm. they get off the trolley by us, brother. We we be really wanting to pack up, take the signs and go inside. We don't even want to talk about God no more, brother. It's yeah. so vexing. Like, but you know, obviously we move in a spirit, but it's been times we literally have packed up and be like, you know what? Fuck, you know, or whatever, bro. Like, mm -hmm. let's 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 just go, man. Cause it's so much vexation, bro. You know, this is but that's the anger of the Lord coming because when the Lord put the prophets up, judgment coming. Great, I got it. It says, for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Yahweh knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. That's what's going on right now. The Lord is he's reserving the unjust. For punishment and he's he's delivering he's gathering his elect to deliver us away from this madness mm -hmm. and yeah, Hurt. like i said it it to have been an example but guess what he he just said you know what let's forget about that history let's forget about the scriptures you know i i could do it better you know and you just don't know what happened that back then to the five cities man it's gonna happen here you know you want to uh on a crash course to a, a, a nuclear CBM missiles, man. This place has to go out in the same way with that fire and brimstone. You know? And uh, let me get to the... Uh, I got that Romans. Okay, Con, Con. We'll get a little bit of that and a few more. So I, I got one for you, too. Con, okay. Yeah, man, we... That's what Jake don't understand why we tripping on it, right? Because Jake like, well, as long as they don't come by me and do it, the thing is, mm -hmm. man, we have daughters and sons growing up in this society, man, which is swayed with the internet. They sway with the way 
the shift and a paradigm shift for which things is going, man. All right. The world is raising our children. OK, so mm -hmm. you start to look at the generations behind us and different things like that. That's not going to be another generation if this actually fully gets intimate or uh, implemented, man. That's what Jake don't understand. They don't see the outcome and the steps in which the direction in which this is going into, man. All right. You got to call it out on top of calling it out. You got to pray to the Lord, judge it, man. All right. That we don't ourselves don't fall victim. Soon it's going to be called. It's going to be a crime to call yourself a man. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a crime to mm -hmm. say I'm, I'm a man. Like I'm, mm -hmm. I ain't with this. Like you're going to get persecuted to the fullest, man. All right. Mm -hmm. But this Romans one, uh, man, all this, I start at four. I mean, 24, I, because, you know, this is all we've been talking about. My bad, bro. It says okay. 22, Romans 1, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like the corruptible man and to birds, to four-foot beasts and creeping things. Wherefore, our power also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts to dishon dishonor their own bodies between themselves. God, yeah, I gave you up to your own uncleanness, man, through your own lust. You know, you, you want to do you. That's that's the uh, the whole thing in, in Babylon, man. Do you. Do, do you feel, you know, who cares when anybody's, you know, step on anybody's toes, whatever you take to get to the top. You know, just uh, please all your... Uh, you know, do the do all the pleasures that you want, man. That's what Babylon pushes. So the most high gives you over to that uh to that unclean spirit, man. And, and here you are out here sashaying and uh twerking in the street, man, you know, with uh with other men on you. You got it? Yeah. Who changed the truth of our power into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator? Who is blessed forever? Amen. Yeah, and that's but what niggas do. Man, that's what y'all do. Y'all worship the cre the creature more than the creator. You know, oh, he's brave. You know, for coming out. You know, he or she. You know, you uh, you brave. You know, you powerful. You <laughs> know, the things of that thing, sort. You know, but you don't say, hey, look. You know, the most I created all this, man. You you think. Uh, you think just because of Jamal, Pedro, you know, and all of them are, are walking nerve, you know, and a physical fit, you know, they form. Because most of these sort of mice, they, they chiseled up, you know, and the people go crazy and, and they worship that. But you don't you don't look back and say, hey, the most I created that, man. You know, you just think, oh, it was just of oh, your own will, your own doing. No, we, we have a part of, you know, like, you got it. Yeah, how 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 can someone actually empower you to come out and say I am a, a man to come out and say I'm in full love with another man? How can somebody empower you to do that, man? How can that even be in, in your spirit? Like it's like, and you looking at him, oh, you know, he he, he in that August I've seen him move of uh, a spirit, mm -hmm. you know what? But yeah, he. Oh, I, 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 I respect him because he came out. Well, first of all, you should already be out. We already men. It's already out there. A, a man, everything was created on the outside of him, man. You know, even when you go down to some of his privy members and shit, it's on the outside of him already, man. So his outward image is what he is, man. Now, right now, yes, we work within the spirit, but a man is, you can see a man you can tell a man from his, his members and different things. You see the image of him, man. He don't have to come out of nothing, man. Why a man have to come out of himself to be mm -hmm. himself? All right? Mm -hmm. You know, overall, like, it's like, nah. The inner man is the man already. Really what's coming out of the man is what the man is already is. That's why the Lord, like, let the a fresh man come out of you. You know, technically... You still a man if you made in the image of the Lord, right and upright and just and devout. The right, the proper thing is going to come out, man. 
But men got to come out and change. They say, oh, I'm, this what I'm, you know, I've been fighting this for years. A man don't fight within himself, man. A man knows who he is. He knows his creator. Okay. It says, for this cause, our power gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women, they changed the natural use into that which is against nature. Okay, so yeah, most I gave you up to them vile affections that you're doing out here. You know, especially talking about in this verse, you women laying down with each other, man. You uh, you bull. You know what I'm saying? We used to call them back in the day, bull D's. You know? That's a vile, unclean spirit you got on you. You lusting after another woman. There's nothing advancing or, or strong or courageous about that. You know, you're a sick degenerate out here. Yep. You know? And we don't care what Esau say, what kind of law he changed to say otherwise. You know, you Israelite, you going off. Yeah, it's so bad to where the men on men that took, that, that, that took the scene so bad to where Jake nowadays or say a woman on a woman. Oh, that that man, like you you got a problem with that? Jake mm -hmm. could tell him that. Like, oh, that just that just regular. Like, you know, but it's like how that's regular, and then the opposite sex they they you like, well, you know, that's kind of Jake ain't supported, but respect it. But a, like Jake completely looked pale. Oh, I, I take two women on women. Like, you know, that that's kind of, that ain't nothing. Like, it's like, bro, like, it's all defiled, you know? Mm -hmm. But that's how you know the level in which things have increased, have surpassed particular things, man. Wickedness is, is, is one up in wickedness, man, in this society, bro. Mm -hmm. It says, and likewise, also the men... Leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one towards another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves the recompense of their error, which was meat. Okay, yeah, and, and how that comes in that era, man, with HPV, HIV, AIDS, monkeypox, you know, so you men, you out here, you left the natural use of a a woman, man, you you said it, it's it's better to be with a man. That's what Jake has said. Now, you, you go to our what's the face, Atlanta. You got whole nightclubs with six, seven foot tall men looking for other six, seven foot tall men. You know, oh man, you know, and you go a bourbon, <laughs> ain't no telling what you're gonna run into down there. You know, you got a whole it, put it like this. Bourbon Street is it, it's hell. You know, I put it like that. That's the best way I could put it, man. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking to down there on Bourbon Street, man. And yeah, we could just, I guess we could bring out, bring out a few little points on this infographic here and then. But as you can see, yeah, man. We, we, don't have to, we don't have to read it. We just yeah, can. <laughs> can yeah. As you we'd, can have to, we'd have to edit every word of this. We'll just. <laughs> We can only say 23% and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Even, bro, even the use of the rainbow, brother, is this he he defiled that, brother, with this. Like it's right. it's bigger than it's bigger than just like bro, the rainbow represent life. Like it's it's you know, the Lord was like, he's not, you know, it's a sign or a signet, all right, that came out after the flood, concerning in which you know the Lord had just did away with that. Right, and it was it also marked like a a new beginning in which you know the Lord had promised and a covenant to Himself that He wouldn't end the world in that way no more. Which again, what comes after death produces life, right? Because even when you die, you you make the spiritual transition. Uh, you die in a physical, but what you go to your your uh, spiritual body. So even for Him to take the rainbow, right? Out of all things, and put that as a, as a signet or a sign mm -hmm. to to do this folly, man. It's 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 like goddamn, bro. Like who? Like come on, bro. You like really throwing in in the most high face? Like look, I, I took this and now I got it. You know? Yeah. 
And yeah. If I could say, if I could say real quick. If I could just say real quick, just to back you up, Kaya, what what event took place before the Most High made that covenant in the sky of the rainbow? The flood. And that was the yeah. first death. And we're coming into the second death. And brothers always say people are exhibiting flood-like behavior. So best believe that spirit of uh, sodomy was heavy during Noah's time. One of the major reasons to bring in the flood. So you just completely disregard that. And take this 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 beautiful sign the Most High made, signifying that He wouldn't do uh, flood the world with water, and then you just make it into one of the things that the world was flooded into water for as a as a as a prideful boasting of it. Yeah, yeah, you mocking. That's why I said the Lord is not mocked. Because remember these things, like the good of use of things, right? He have turned them into evil. The Lord is not mocked. The Lord see. You using his rainbow, all right, which is a, a glory of it's a glory unto the Lord. Matter of fact, I'm gonna read it. This is a rock 43 and 11. It says, Look upon the rainbow and praise him that made it. Now, the devil got this, got the you know, he used the rainbow because the men of the Lord, the roundabout way, we understand the rainbow and, and the use of it with his foot. We don't kind of put it out, you know, we 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 got just respect it, you know, the ordinance of it. We just have a respect towards because we understand it. It says, look upon the rainbow and praise him that made it. Now, how you praising the Lord by using a rainbow? This is how you showing your praise of the Lord, man. All right, you damn devil. It says, very beautiful it is in the brightness thereof. But when they use it for this, it, it turns you, it turns your, your spirit against it. Like, what, like, what the? You gonna use the you know one of the ordinances of the Lord that to, to, to do this, like to introduce this to the people? Like, what are you doing? It says it compasses the heaven about with a glorious circle, and the hands of the most high have bended it. So the Lord go to death to put it in the store of the biblical Bible to show what he have did with it and allowed you to actually get your hands on it and to do this. And turn it into the use of what you want it for. The Lord gonna turn your ass and bend your ass crooked and out of place, like He did you, because He know mm -hmm. you you were the same way He bended the the rainbow. He made your ass crooked and bent out of shape like that because you have defiled the things He have made good. All right, go ahead, Ark. You got it. Can I, can I, I guess uh, can you finish off with that twenty eight then and then. Let me get uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, and then 20, uh, Deuteronomy 23 and 17. I guess we can close it out. I got a few more, but we can close it out, though, after that, if y'all want to. Ecclesiastes. Okay. It's Romans 1 and 28. It says that even as they did not like to retain God in that knowledge, which, you know, obviously mm -hmm. it's talking about our people, but mm -hmm. God gave them over to a reprobate mind, but it's a universal law. Because you doing this, you got it from who? The vine of Sodom and Gomorrah, the people, the wicked, man. You know, and Jake mm -hmm. loved to have his soul. It says, mm -hmm. God gave them over to a reprobate mind, void without judgment, to those to do those things which are not convenient. You got it. God, yeah. So he gave you over to being a reprobate mind. You know, that goes and busts up that whole thing that Esau Edom says, oh, you was born that way. You know, you was born a mo. No, you you got turned over to that man. You, you let that uh, unclean spirit enter into you. You know, you was burning it, your love. You hate knowledge. So and now and now you freaked out. Look at this. It's the spirit now. We talking about this, the brother not see. Post this in a chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got the article. This one, uh, yeah. Hey, yeah, you're right beautiful. You know, you got it. But it's crazy. We talking about that, a brother posted in the chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, real quick, pull on. Right. So it says proposed. Gotta be careful how I read this. Proposed California bill would brand parents abusive. If they refuse to affirm their children's identity 
and let social workers take youngsters into care. That is wicked as hell, man. <laughs> it says a proposed amendment to a bill in California would classify parents who refuse to affirm their child's uh, identity as abusive and could result in revoked custody. Now look, look who proposed this. Matter of fact, brothers could take a wild guess which who, who proposed this bill. But we're gonna show them. Mm -hmm. yeah. AB 69657 was proposed by Democratic Assembly member Lori Wilson on the left, Eve, and State Senator Scott Weiner, right, Esau the devil, and amends the state family code. So you got Amalek. Yeah, the mm -hmm. serpent. All right, Amalek, the serpent, and you got Eve, man. They they're proposing a bill for the government to take your children if you if you don't coincide with this this pride madness. Huh? Yeah. Which are their children too, though? Like, mm -hmm. is this Eve? Is your children? Like, they're making you sign something in the law that states they could take your children. Then Eve cry and go to court and say, "Why y'all did this to me?" Mm -hmm. Ridiculous, man. Yeah, it's something like ninety percent of Eves support the Democratic Party. Ninety to ninety-three percent. Just total madness, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, look at that thing on the side of that, you know, <laughs> Scott, what is his name? Wiener what? Yeah, two, yeah, two Edomites Wiener. and Eve. Yeah, yeah. that's shit awesome, man. And, and that's what this man has in store, man, for the whole world. If he was to go on another 50, 100 years, 20 years, you know, this is what this man has in store, man, turning everybody into a moat. You know, and if you don't like it, hey, he'll put you to death over it, man. Steal you know, your children. Yeah. You take everything from you. Technically, he ain't stealing children. Children is a, he already. Fuck when you sign a birth certificate, bro. He just a devil, bro. Okay. Yeah. But you know then if a man says he wants more than one wife, he's he's the worst thing on the earth. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> Polygamy. Polygamy, yeah. bro. Uh -huh. Yeah, but if you want two, three drag queens, then hey, guess what? You, you you a man. You you brave, you know. You the ideal American citizen, man. You know he, he won't say nothing about that. Are you woman of the year, right? Oh yeah yeah yeah, that's right. <laughs> the fucking man is woman of the year. Come on, man. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, you know what? Let's just get that Luke seventeen and twenty eight and twenty nine. We'll close it out with that. You know, it just gets sicker and sicker the more we, we go on with it, man. <laughs> and we got some light articles. We ain't even brought out the, you know, the the D Queen, you know, story time and, you know, little, the little D Queen kids twerking at adult parties. We ain't even brought none of that out, you know? <laughs> yeah. This, uh, this St. Luke 17, verse 28, it says, likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. God, yeah, so that day is coming again. Lot 2.0, man. You know, where that fire and brimstone is going to come down and rain and destroy every little piece of garbage that's left here. You know, and I'm talking about people. You know, the trash, man. You know, all y'all are gonna be burnt, man, to a to a nuclear crisp. You know, so like just like I was in black days, everybody was partying, having, drinking, you know, having a good old time, marrying, still having kids, but you know, at living that lifestyle, you know, that Sodom and Gomorrah was known for, it is you got uh, annihilated and this time it's gonna get nuclear annihilated, man, with the same you know, with fire and brimstone that's coming. And there's nothing that can be done about it because this place is, you know, spiritual Sodom in Egypt, man. You know, so it has the same the same garbage back then and it's going on today. And it's going to be uh, cleansed up here real soon, man. You know, and all praise to Yahweh Bashim al for that. Right. You know, like some of vexing having to listen to the conversation of these uh, degenerates and having to look at it, man. You know, it's time to get the hell out of here. And we know you're going to get paid back for all this garbage that you pushed, E. You know, it's, it's going to be no uh, naked bike runs 
in the kingdom. You know, there's not going to be no red dress weekend. None of that garbage, man. You know, real man is going to get in charge, man. No uh, store boy, you know? Mm. You know uh, so uh, we, I guess we're going to go ahead and close it out, man. You know, we pray this video was edifying. And, you know, and this, this pride madness, you know, true man of the Lord against it. You know, and we're going to stand up for him and what we believe in. You know, so we, we get out of here and we're going to say all praises and glory to you. The bonus be apostles and elders of great millstone, peace and blessed distance. Y'all can push this truth out of words. Shall one keep pushing? Shall one. 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 Shall one.